Hey, what's going on, people? What's going on, subscribers? What's going on, YouTube? Hope you guys are having a nice day today. We're not doing a Q&A today. We're not doing a QA. and a I'm not ready for that yet. I'm still going over all the questions and some emails, and I haven't had time. But I figure I'm on the road today. You know, we got some snow. And it's kind of crazy out here. The snow ain't the crazy part. I'm having a bad day today. This morning. Well, I got an auto parts run that I do in the morning now. So I do a, I do a night run and I also do a morning run. My morning run is supposed to be about two or three hours long. Today's been a bad day, man. I had like a big drum. I had to deliver a bell liner. Two drums, two 55-gallon drums of oil. And a bunch of parts, man. It was like crazy due to the fact that people called out today at the warehouse, all the pickers called out because of the weather. So I was like 45 minutes delay leaving the warehouse. I usually show up at quarter past 10 and I'm out by 11 o'clock. And I'm usually done by like 1.30. And I'm home around like 2, 2.30. Uh, but today, man, today I was, it was slow leaving the warehouse. I had tons of orders. It was just stressful, you know, you wanna, strangle somebody but it is what it is you know you gotta keep your cool you're gonna come to um, circumstances where it's gonna be really really stressful like I had to deliver one little part at this one dealership and they have a building that does service and then they have a body shop building I go to where I usually go which is a drop off at the uh, couch counter 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 parts part, uh, part counter and uh and I go, oh, parts not for me. It's across the street. I mean, across the parking lot. I go to the other place. I'm looking around. I'm trying to get someone to sign for a damn part. I'm in there like 10 minutes running around. Oh, no, I can't sign for that. I can't sign for that. Dude, all I want to do is drop off one single part. I don't want no check. I want no money. Just take the damn part and give it to whoever ordered it. So I can get out of my damn way. So I can go home, man. Because I'm already running late today. You know, one part taking me like 10, 15 minutes to like get rid of it. It's ridiculous. I almost took the part back, but I didn't take it back because if I if I take it back, chances are I gotta bring it back tomorrow. So you know what? I went back across the parking lot where I first went at the parts counter, and I said, "Listen, this part's for you. Just take the damn part, and I'm out." So, but um, why well, didn't say it like that? I just said, "Listen, this part's for you." I went over there. I'm not gonna keep running around trying to find who this part go to. Just take the part. You guys can figure it out. And he said, okay, you know, I'll just take the part. And I was on my way. But today, man, today, I'm, gonna, I'm about to be home like 3.30 today. So I'm like delayed because one, the weather, two people called out sick. Um, I mean, not sick, but they called out at the warehouse. So everything from the very beginning is slow, slow and slow and slow. Um, you know, I got my son today with me. You know, he does not work today, so he's out. If I had a shotgun, like, let's go get him like, the teacher right there on his phone without doing his thing. But, um, you know, he's been helping me out, load, load the van. You know, I had a big bed ladder. You know, people say, how can you get a bed ladder in here? Yeah, but I got a full-size bed ladder in the back of the van. And you got to kind of arch it, kind of flatten it out a little bit, and then and it goes in. And then after that, I put two barrels, um, 255 gallon barrel of uh, synthetic oil going to a dealership along with rotors and a bunch of humble crap yes my van was kind of loaded today uh it was kind of sagging in the back but i kind of beefed up the suspension a little bit and my tires are kind of low tires so it, it, did, it did pretty good but i am going to beef it up even more so i don't get that drag in the back and i don't bottom out um okay, stuff was heavy you know I had this this thing was preloaded today. Um, but you know, stuff happens, so you will come across some 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 people that are just not people person, you know, like at the part at the where at that um, dealership, oh no, you know, it's not me, I don't sign for this stuff, you know. I can't do everyone's job around here, this and that and that and that. You know, I don't I don't hear that. Just sign a damn part. Take the damn part, give me, give me my slip so I can get on my way, man. You know, it's like pulling teeth. But, um, 
Thank God's over. I'm gonna go home, get a bite to eat, rest a little bit. So I'm come back out. So I'm gonna come back out today like five o'clock. So I can get early, so I can get a head start at the at the night run tonight. And uh, you know, do this thing. But um anyway. So not yep yapping. But I'm gonna have the uh, QA coming out. Uh, gonna give it a couple couple more days. Today's Monday. Maybe I'll do it towards the end of the week, you know, to drop some more questions in. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Works work. A delivery a delivery. I actually worked yesterday too. I went out to um, New Hampshire. I picked up uh, 20 cases of this power drink I've never heard of at out of off someone's porch. Um, so I went to someone's house, someone's porch, picked up the uh, 20 cases of drinks, drove them down about 75 miles down to New Hampshire, dropped it off someone's house. I guess like a sales rep. New Hampshire sells rep with a drink or something. So I picked them up and dropped them off at the house. You know, I'll put a picture in it right here. You know what I'm saying? Picked those suckers up. And um, it was cool. It was a... Uh, Fairly quick, took me about, it was about uh, maybe a 45 minute ride from my house to pick it up, and then another 45 minute ride to the drop off location. So it was about an hour and a half to do that, you know, pick up and drop off. And then from New Hampshire to my house was another hour and 30 minutes. Um, so total, pick up and drop off the drinks round trip took me about three hours and um, that paid me about 150 bucks Um, uh, but yeah that might even look good there we go there we go so yeah it took me about 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 three hours it's about 150 bucks um, from pick up from my house, you know, three hours from my house to the pickup location, down to drop off location, and back to my house. But total ride from from pickup location to drop off location was about 75 miles, um, and it, I got a, got about, about about 145, 146 approximately for that one drop off. And then I went home. I don't usually work weekends, but they called me Saturday night. They had this last minute run that came through. And if I wanted it, I picked it up. That's the way it works on the weekends for me. They call me up, maybe for a casket, or odd jobs, odd, odd rush jobs, odd pickups, you know, and I do it. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna cut this video short. I'll see you guys later. Thanks to all the subscribers. Any comments, leave me home. Let me leave me home. Leave, leave below, I'm trying to get home. Um, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. This is your urban, not the urban, but the uh, independent contractors channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace.